All right. We're gonna do a little uh, mid-season overlook and maintenance on the Gen 5. Started up with cleaning these clutches up real nice. Made sure the deflection's perfect. We've got some ski rubbers. We've got some grips going on. The tunnel grips. We're kind of getting into the jumping and flipping season, so putting those on. Uh, and I really wanted to, there's a lot of, seems like everyone's a little bit confused and maybe wondering exactly how to tension your chain case. So we'll talk about that here in a second and uh, how tight I run that little bolt and, and kind of how to feel out how tight your chain is without pulling the case apart. First off, this pin is, uh, it's gonna be on that. And so I pulled the pin off and uh, I actually loosened it a little bit so you can kind of see there's the, uh, there's a little bit of play in the secondary clutch here and you can hear it. And so that's how you know you're loose and you're a little bit too loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tool and we'll start to tighten up. All right, so I got my BRP toolkit and uh, I believe this is a T20, could be a T25. And I'm actually gonna just twist that as much as I can with my fingers and just take all the play out of the chain. And I I can actually get a pretty good grip on it. You know, nothing crazy. And you can see that that slops pretty much all gone. There's a tiny little bit more, you know, I might I might try and get another little quarter turn. Virtually no slop in the chain. All right, so I've got it as much as I can finger tight. And so I'm gonna take the ratchet now and I'm gonna do another quarter to half turn. And you can kind of feel it. It's a lot easier to feel that with your fingers, but I'm gonna do about a half turn on this one. And that's it, it doesn't need to be super tight, but there's no play in that secondary clutch anymore. There's no more slop in it. If you over tighten it, that's gonna end up breaking it too. So we're gonna slop that guy right back in there. And also, just so you guys know, it goes behind here. Yep. I run these things hard. I do stuff to them that, that breaks stuff and I've never had an issue, so. Please try it out. It's something to keep an eye on too. I've got 500 miles on mine. Mine was a little loose today. So it should be something you're looking at just like with your track tension, you know, every ride, every couple rides, especially early on. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna go check out the limiter strap. Had a few questions on this guy, where I was running it and you know, how many straps do you want in there? I leave all the straps in. And really the purpose of this is to keep your rails from from going down and stabbing into your track so it does serve a purpose and you don't want to just get rid of it or anything yeah play with it i would say that the 146 might be different than the 154 you know what setting you're going to want to run and if you got the quick adjust it's going to be easier but really this is no problem at all you get up on the trail, just get all the snow out of your skin. Yeah, adjust it, play with it. And really, uh, it's it's going to be preference, you know. It's going to be maybe more difficult to climb with it real loose like I have. And it's going to be a little bit easier and more stable when you have it sucked up. So, other than that, I don't have much for you guys. This sled looks good, clean. It smokes. I've been neglecting it this season. This is the first time. It's actually seen a shop since I picked it up from Delta. So, yeah. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments. If you guys want to see any particular kind of videos, let me know. I do simple maintenance and stuff all the time. So if you want to see me, I do ski swaps and bushing squ swaps. and I'll probably go and check out the rollers in these. Here shortly so if you guys want to see us rebuild the clutches or anything just go ahead and drop a comment and i'll probably make that happen
but otherwise I'll just piece this sled back together and she'll be ready to go for another ride. Thanks for thanks for tuning in guys.